Welcome to Godly Play Children's Time with Downtown Disciples. I'm Pastor Debbie Griffin and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. It is my blessing and joy to be the pastor of Downtown Disciples. In just a few moments, we are going to have uh, some songs and story time and I hope that you will join me at home and that you will sing at home and then you will wonder with me after the story. I'm so glad uh, that you're here. I see that some of you have joined and so I'm gonna look and see who's with us today. I hope you're having a good day today and that you have experienced the love of God in some way today. If you'd like to chat and say hello, it'd be great to hear from you. Also, if you would like to chat and say, uh, share some way that you have experienced the love or comfort or joy of God today, that would be terrific as well. Hi, Eleanor and Anna. I'm so glad you're here. And Tamikia. Welcome, so glad you're here. And Ashley, and Casey, and Carrie, Brenda, Miles and Ava are here today. Hello, I'm so glad to have all of you here with me today. Before I get started, I'm just going to um, make one tiny adjustment. There we go, sorry about that, I'm back. So again, welcome to Downtown Disciples, a progressive faith community doing justice, loving kindness, and walking humbly together. We are LGBTQ affirming and we proclaim Black Lives Matter. We say that every time we gather because it matters to us. It matters to me that you're here today. Thank you for joining. Uh, we will get started by singing to God. One of the ways that we talk with God is by singing to God. I hope you'll sing at home with me. And the first song we're gonna sing is about light. And I bet you know this, we sang it last week too. It's this little light of mine and you can use your, your hands um, to sing with as well as your voice. So it goes, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Are you ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine all over Iowa, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over Iowa, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let anything it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let anything it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I hope you're letting your little light shine today. Shine with love and joy and hope and uh, peace. Uh, the other song we're gonna sing today is gonna get us ready for worship. And you probably know it if you've joined us before because we sing it every week. And it goes like this. Oh God, we adore you and we lay our lives before you. How we love you. And then we'll do Jesus, we adore you and we lay our lives before you. How we love you and then the last verse is spirit we adore you oh god we adore you and we lay our lives before you 
Thank you for singing with me and singing to God. Now I'm going to light the candle. The candle reminds us that God is with us. Let us enjoy the light. One of the ways we listen for God is by listening to stories about God. And our story today, it comes from the Bible, and it is told in a couple of different places in the Bible, in the New Testament, in um, some books called Matthew and Luke. They wrote these things down that Jesus said and did, and then they were passed on from grandpas and grandmas to grandchildren like you. And then those children grew up and they passed the stories down to their grandchildren. And then they grew up and finally they got to us. So we get to hear this story today. Once there was a man who did such wonderful things and said such marvelous things that people followed him. They followed him all kinds of places. They followed him up on hills and they followed him in valleys. They followed him to quiet places alone. They followed him out on the water. They followed him into big cities and into little towns. All kinds of people followed him, adults and children, people with different abilities followed him, people who were happy and people who were sad, people who called themselves boys and people that called themselves girls and people that called themselves people followed him. One day, they had followed him to a place where they sat down and listened to him teach for a long time. Here's some of the things that he said to them. Blessed are you who are poor because the community of God belongs to you. Blessed are you who are sad because you will be comforted. Blessed are you who are humble because the whole earth is yours. Blessed are you when you seek justice because you will find it. Blessed are you when people say terrible things about you because you are seeking God's justice, because you are close to God and you will be rewarded by God. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its saltiness, what good is it? 
It just has to be thrown out and trampled upon. You are the light of the world. But no one lights a lamp and then hides it under a basket. No, let your light shine for all the world to see the good things that you do. And then they will give glory to God because of God's goodness in you. Thank you for listening to this old, old story. I rang the bell because now it's time for us to wonder together about the story. It's important for us to wonder together about the story because the stories are for the whole community. They're not just for me and they're not just for you. And I'm not the only one that knows things about the story. You know things about the story too. So we get to wonder about the story together. I'm gonna wonder and then I invite you to chat into Facebook or to have your parents do that for you, your answers to the wondering questions, or maybe you have your own wondering questions that you'd like me to wonder about with you. I am wondering why Jesus said, blessed are you when you are sad. I wonder if you feel blessed when you're sad. And I wonder what it feels like to feel blessed. said, blessed are the poor because the world belongs to them. The community of God belongs to them. And I wonder if you have a community of God. And I wonder about the salt. Do you like salt? What does it do to your food? Do you think salt makes your food taste better? What did Jesus mean when he said, you are like salt? said, you are the light of the world. What did he mean by that? How are you the light in the world? How do you let God's light shine in the world? Do you know somebody that lets God's light shine in the world? And if so, how? How do they let God's light shine in the world? I know some of you, and I know that I've seen God's light shine in you. And I wonder if you know how it is that God's light is shining in you. I'm going to look and see if anybody's wondering with me. So Ava and Miles and Eleonora and Anna, I've seen God's light shine in you before. 
I've seen it when um, you do nice things to for people at church. I've seen God's light shine in you when you smile and your smile makes other people happy. I've seen God's light shine in you when you sing and when you dance. How else are you letting God's light shine in you? So we were wondering about this salt and I'm wondering how salty you've been. So if saltiness, if salt makes food taste better, then um, how do you make the world better? When you make the world better, I think you're being kind of salty. What do you think? And just for fun, I'm wondering what you did today. What have you done today? Have you played? Have you laughed? Have you cried? Have you had something to eat today? Have you been outside today? Have you seen God in God's creation or in the faces of your friends or the faces of your family members? when we share. Very good. So when we share, we are, um, we are shining God's light and we're being salty. Oh, Ashley says, oh, the girls played and got ice cream. Mm. Yum. What kind of ice cream did you get? And let's see. Brenda says, hello. Hi, Brenda. See, somebody else is commenting. Let me make sure I find that. Hi, Eleanor and Anna. Hello. Everybody's saying hello. That's so nice. Yeah, I think ice cream sounds really great. I'd love to have some ice cream. And I wonder if you saw that my my friend Bob Dylan has been here with me the whole time during the story. He was sitting in my lap for a little while and um, then now he's just sitting behind me so I'll bring him up front so that you can see him. Uh, looks like Crystal, oh hi Crystal, watching with her granddaughter. How terrific, that's wonderful. So glad. That sounds like um, a great way to spend the day with one's granddaughter. That's fabulous. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so here's Bob. Bob, can you say hi to the kids? Do you have pets at your house? Bob's a good boy. He likes to hang out. And let's see if Lassie wants to come and say hi. Lassie! Come here, girl. You wanna come say hi? Come on. She doesn't move very fast. Come on, girl. Come here. Okay, here she is. This is Lassie. She doesn't like it when it's hot outside like it is today, do you? Is it too hot for you? Oh, maybe you have a pool um, in your yard or something or a hose so that you can get wet and get cool. Oh, I wanted to ask you one other thing. There was a great show on TV last week. It was on, it was Sesame Street. And um, they were talking about some really hard things. 
but it was a great show. I showed a picture in worship yesterday of Elmo and his dad, and they were talking about racism. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to watch it with your parents. I think you would probably like it. Um, and it, it helps explain some hard things in the world. Do you like Sesame Street? So we are going to put out the light and, um, and say goodbye for today. But we'll be back on next Monday. And hopefully I'll get to see you in worship on Sunday. So I'm going to put out the light. Right now, the light is in one place at one time. And now it is in all places at all times because it goes with you. Peace be with you.